Simon and Alice. Hi, I'm little Alice. Oh, I don't know why I'm here on the stage. I'm, I'm never good at handling public speaking. Oh my God, I should leave. Usually, the little Alice never leaves that fast. She likes to stay in my head, hiding the shadows and telling me what I should do. More precisely, what I should not do. Before I went to the university, I was an ordinary girl, just like most of us. I had never been the top in class, and I was so common that I seldom believed in my capabilities. When there is a competition, a performance, or an activity to participate in, I would say, wow, that's a great opportunity. However, the little Alice would come out and told me, hmm, wait, I don't think that you're good enough now. You might mess up everything. Maybe others are more stupid than you. Then I will whisper to myself, oh, okay, the little Alice is right. Maybe I should wait until I'm ready. Hey guys, do the words sound familiar to you? Have you ever doubted your ability, even if you have one? Are you afraid of seizing the opportunity because you think you're not good enough? Well, I was like this. I didn't believe that I was good enough for many things, and I was always waiting for a moment that I will be ready. Guess what? That moment would have never come if I had not seen a fantastic one. I remember sitting in the waiting hall of the train station. The clock just stopped at 7 p.m. and the check-in would start in 15 minutes. I'm so eager to get on the train and go back to Guangzhou. After a long week at the university, the only thing I want to do now is have a good sleep on my comfy bed and with breakfast made by my mom. Suddenly, my phone rang. It was my professor. Hi, Alice, how are you? Are you interested in giving a presentation at the international conference? Yes, professor, without much thinking, I just agree. Handing out the phone, I thought to myself, I'm so honored he asked me, and I'm so excited to go to a fancy conference room and dress in a suit. Finally, I will take some great photos and share on WeChat moments with my friends and family. That is lovely. Hang on, where's the little Alice? Who cares? Maybe she's just sleeping. However, a few hours later, the sleeping little Alice woke up. She was shocked. She yelled at me. What? Did you say yes to that opportunity? That is a huge challenge for a sophomore student. What if you forget words when doing the presentation? What if you don't know how to respond when others ask questions? What if you shake nervously when you're speaking? I couldn't help, but questioned my abilities as a 20 year old. The little Alice inside my head believed that I was not good enough and tried to save me from a catastrophe. Maybe a few years later, I will be ready when I have more academic knowledge and experience. Unfortunately, I already gave my word to my professor and there's no way to turn back because I didn't want to disappoint my professor. So, the only thing I can do now is to take this job and make it a success and put a tap on the little Alice's mouth. With this determination, I put up all the stops preparing the PowerPoint in the next few days, rehearsing time after time, getting advice from others, collecting potential questions, and double checking and triple checking my presentation. Did I get enough confidence at the end? 
No. No. I was nervous. My heart was almost coming out of my chest when I was presenting. And my hands were too slippery to hold on the microphone because of sweat. Yet, I did it. Unexpectedly, many peers and professors came to congratulate me, impressed that I was only on your sophomore student. One of the professors from Singapore even invited me to apply for his daughter program after I graduate. This conference was a breakthrough in my understanding of who I am. I am good enough for many things, but I never dare to accept them. Thanks to this impulsive decision, I learned how to ignore the little Alice. As an old Chinese poem goes, Yu chong qian lu bu, geng shang yi chang long. In English, it means if you want to see further, you need to climb higher. Only when you believe you're ready and dare to climb to the top of the mountain, will you appreciate the most beautiful scenery and have the opportunity to become better in your next endeavor. It is only when you believe you're ready and believe that you're good enough, then you will become better. So, if you're sitting here or at home and you avoid some adventures in life because your little Alice is nagging your head that you're not good enough, make sure to tell her from time to time, go to sleep and I am good enough now. Thank you.